Hi hey guys, how's it going? So we're out here today to sight in another optic. Uh, this right here is a uh, red dot sight made by Penty. Um, as you'll see in like the B-roll footage, uh, it says Haram on it, but they're in, I think uh, Penty just like recently acquired uh, Haram. But this is like a really good budget red dot sight, um, and I got it on a budget firearm. This is a, a high point nine millimeter rifle. I bought this all the way back when I was like 16, 17. Uh, it's used for deer hunting. I've just rocked the iron sight since I got it. Um, but I thought a great way to deck it out would be get some quality budget attachment. So a raised red dot because it does have um, a pretty high rise iron sight set up. Uh, and then also got a Penty foregrip on here with a flashlight and a green laser. Um, I've got to sight that in. Uh, but tonight we're supposed or as soon as it gets dark the uh the wind's supposed to get up 30 miles per hour it's pretty windy now hopefully it doesn't affect the audio too much i put a couple of the specs on papers so you got the ability to have a red or a green dot it's got seven different brightness levels any red dot it allows for you know a lot faster target acquisition and then like the reason i went with this one is because it comes with the riser and jesus christ this wind is blowing my target all over the place this is going to be a challenge uh, it's waterproof fog proof the objective lens is a uh, 1 by 20 millimeters the weight of it's 5.4 ounces uh, the overall length of it is 2.7 inches the height is 2.3 uh, for the range adjustment it's plus minus one yard at 100 yards so the click value is a half an inch at 100 yards eye relief unlimited and then the rail is a 20 millimeter or and uh, slash 0.78 so yeah i took our tried and true range finder right here and i've got this thing set out at 25 yards i'm sighting at 25 yards because with this one nine millimeter mainly because of the wind i was going to do 50 but i feel like with the raised red dot and for this gun what i'm going to be using it for 25 is a good baseline the caps to our adjustments here put them in our pocket zip them up but we don't lose them i've had my ears in this whole time and Let's see. It doesn't. It really doesn't matter. I guess it's personal preference. Uh, I'm gonna get the green laser. Seems to stand out a bit more. It's really hard to show you guys like the actual dot. There we go. Aim center mass right there on that white. Hey, this thing might be pretty close. I was aiming dead center there. I know this is a very uh, professional targeting setup, but with the wind and everything, this right here is about the best I can do with this specific spot. I'm going to go up to, left to. Okay, yep, so first shot here, second shot here, so left to, well, I mean, yeah. I think my left actually went three, which is, it's going to need more. So let's do, um, if there was that slight bit two, so let's go two, two again and see if we get, because we're going for here. I'm aiming dead center. I know that's not perfectly squared. It might look a little funky, but. Well, the winds kind of blew it a little bit. I mean, as you guys can see, though, I'm holding dead center on every single one. So we got a perfect trail up this way. So I say up two, left two again. I mean, three might be about perfect, but let's do two and kind of see where that gets us. Okay, well, guys, I mean, that's about perfect. We might could probably go up one click. I mean, the dot puts about a thumb size, covers this about a thumb size hole, and I'm aiming dead center, so it looks like that's down there. So if I go up one, let's see, we know where that one is. Just let's see what kind of group we can hold. Because I know, uh, I'm, I'm no means like a high point fan, and like I would never buy one of the pistols just because of how they look, but this rifle right here, just like with the iron sights factor, you can paint a smiley face with it. So uh, it does, it tends to jam and stuff. Speak of the devil. Spraying in this magazine's about shot, I think. Maybe it'll cycle for us now. Or not. 
Yeah. These maggots, that's what happened on that last uh, go round. The uh, two bullets turned face side first. Yep, we're gonna take this magazine apart and fix it. At least we got this thing sided in. We can take it do a couple uh, single reloads, I guess. I think loading a one round into a musket is easier than loading one round into this thing. Okay, yeah, it looks like, I mean, with a lot of those singles, I think I was holding more right here, so that right there is pretty accurate. I mean, at 25 yards, that's not the best group, but I mean, for that, I'll take it. Okay, guys, there you have it. And then I guess the one thing I didn't mention uh, that it's kind of makes sense to do it at the end is turn it off. You just take and press both of the buttons at the same time, and you're good to go. So in short, I mean, I think this red dot makes a great fit for, you know, a budget gun such as this. Like, you know, if you had a 22, um, like I've been, I got another 22 rifle other than the one I put that long distance scope on. I might put a one of the red dots on it, and then this foregrip is really high quality. Um, it's got a bright light and a really bright green laser, so I might even end up putting that on one of my ARs. But we'll sight it in with this, just to have some fun. Next time it's not super windy and it's dark. With all that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, share the channel with your friends. Check the links and descriptions to these. It's not affiliate links or nothing, just if you're interested, um, rather it be for uh, plinking or airsoft or hunting whatever the case may be you can check it out uh, i'll go ahead and link the foregrip too and some of this other stuff i use like the range finder also my outdoor channel pro cover hq my gaming channel will be linked below um and that should pretty much do it just feel free to hit me up in the comment section thoughts opinions uh, i know a lot of people have opinions about these high point uh well just high point in general so i look forward to hearing from all of y'all down below so until the next one guys adios